So, can you see the mountains today? No, it's very, very foggy. Oh, a little. Yes, I also love Künstlergasse. So I've already been working. So I've already been working here in Stamms and now I have a little break. So I thought I'd use the time and do again some sightseeing. And it's so beautiful today. decided to come here to this church which is called Locher Boden. Down there, down there is Stamms. And here is the school I'm working in. And here is Jesus hanging on the cross in a prison, in a cave. living in the valleys. <laughs> So there is one question I want to address now because you might have asked yourself because I'm filming for example today this church and those religious symbols you might have asked yourself the in German Gretchenfrage the question which in Goethe's Faust uh, Gretchen asks Faust um, what about religion? Wie hast du es mit der Religion? What about religion? So you might have asked yourself the question, hey, Patrick, what about religion? Are you a religious person? Well, thanks for asking. It's not an easy question to answer actually, because I was actually raised as a Roman Catholic, especially by my grandmother. We used to go to church and she would tell me a lot of stories about Jesus and so on. And I was baptized. So from my growing up, I was supposed to be a Roman Catholic. But then came a phase where I distanced myself from the church. I was studying philosophy and I had this, how do you say, Aufklärung. I had those humanistic thoughts in mind where you have to be like rationalist and rationalize everything and explain everything through scientific methods and I still kind of have also this 
kind of view in myself, I would say. So, especially at the University of Vienna, uh, it was a lot of criticism about the church and about Roman Catholics and about strictly believing. You always would say believing is not knowing and you want to know things, you want to find things out through scientific methods. And I think this is interesting and a good way. But then something interesting happens. Just in recent years I've sort of again switched. I came to criticize also the well scientific belief the belief that you can explain everything through scientific methods and that it leads or it is good for a good life to live like this especially during tough times hard times there was this feeling inside of me that there could be something more and what I've been reading a lot in recent times was A Course in Miracles it's an interesting book which leads me sort of to the answer to the question about religion. So, am I a religious person? Well, yes and no. I would say I'm religious in a more spiritual sense. I'm not religious in a sense that I want to be part of, I don't know, some sort of church or some sort of movement. Because a lot of people see themselves as Christians, but they don't act at all according to those beliefs. So for me, the belief of Jesus or the Christ thinking is more like a way of living, is more like a way of experiencing the world, a way of feeling, a way of acting. For me, and that's I think the big difference, when you look at this church here, it's made of stone and it's cold and it's there fixed it's a landmark you put it somewhere and it's here supposed to be standing until eternity but for me religion shouldn't be something which is stuck and which contains certain beliefs and you have to live according to them and everybody else who doesn't is supposed to be maybe even killed for me religion is or spirituality is more like a living concept like a tree for example like nature you wanna be in movement you wanna feel you wanna see you wanna smell it's something you wanna experience and I think this is the key to understand religion if you meditate if you look into your inner self if you look at the world and feel this connection then I think this is a step of being religious and this is what religion would be for me it's more because when you build a church it's like separation you separate this building it has to look a certain way there has to be um, in the front an altar and in the back something where you can an order where you can play and it has to have straight rows and it's this hierarchy you have to believe what the Pope say, says so it's a totally not I don't know living concept it's a separation concept and for me religion should be exactly the opposite we should as Charles Eisenstein puts it overcome this story of separation and tell a new story tell a new story of connectedness of overcoming the boundaries we set ourselves and seeing yourself in the other people and in the refugees and in the trees and in everything and when you starting to feel that this separation is artificial that it's only a concept and when you starting to feel your connection with the world or being one with the world or being actually God feeling the God inside of you and inside of everything that's for me spirituality that's for me a healthy form of believing or of religion one more thing because uh, that sounded like I was against people going to church or something like this no 
I also don't want to separate from those people. I do also don't. I also see that I'm also connected with this thought that you need maybe a stable society or some hierarchy that you ne need uh, bricks and stones and cold buildings and that this is also part of our world. I also want to make sure that you understand that this is also something I see I'm not separated from. Also from this highway down there. It's also one part of this world. So there's your answer. So I want to ask this question to you, what about religion?